Hey guys, what's up? It's me, me, Mr. Kingos here. Let me just double check if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Good. <laughs> sometimes I have to double check because sometimes uh, the my OBS pretends it's recording when it's really it isn't. I look at Fallout 4. <laughs> there's, there's been some occasions where I've been recording where I'm actually am not Fallout 4. Um, <laughs> like, like an OBS in Fallout 4. But anyway, um, we're going to go out coming to a, a new series again. Plot Plane is Japan. I just did, I just uploaded, as this video goes up, I just uploaded episode 1 of the Japanese series I was going to be doing. And then the Waking Tiger DLC dropped. Yeah. Um, I should have done this before. <clears throat> before, but, um... I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it now because the new DLC is happening and I can continue on doing it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, the reasons why is because you're staring at, at, at the two new things that break the save every single time I try and open it. Uh, it's these two things like savability and war support. Um, let's just say it breaks the game a bit too much, a bit too easily, a bit too easy. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be playing as the Japanese Empire. We're going to be playing as the Imperial uh, Japan. We're going to go ahead and conquer Southeast Asia. So we're going to be conquering all of this and conquering it as a strong and powerful nation. We're also going to try not to be defeated by everyone <laughs> because that's Japan. That's kind of is a thing. Um, but anywho, um, Japan has got a new uh, focus tree. If you guys don't know what focus trees are, there will be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try and make make a um, what you call it. A. I'm going to try and make a tutorial video on how to play this game. I was going to do it before, then I saw all this was getting changed, and I just scrapped it. Because it'd be, it'd be like out of date, like instantly. Um, so yeah, that 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 wouldn't be fair, and it wouldn't be a very good update video because everything that I would talk about would be out of date. So yeah. But anyway, so we're gonna be playing as Imperial Japanese um, nation. So we're going to be going down uh, this focus side of the of the focus tree. I might do this one. Um, maybe one day is to go ahead and um, uh, go down this line later on. Uh, but we are going to be purging the Karu faction, the Hatu faction. It apparently isn't there. Um, Japan gets renamed to Japan. Prepare for war with the Soviets. Hmm. It's been interesting things, but I really quick on it. We, we, we can't go back now. But yeah, wow. Hmm. I like how like you can get, like you can like help the uh, uh, the Manchukuo army. That's cool. But we are also going to be going. <laughs> but yeah, we are we are also going to be like trying to fight, uh, everyone. Like we we we're gonna sign the the no action pact. But but yeah, we can go to. Uh, yeah, we don't have to sign this. We can just go to war with 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 the Soviets. Um. So yeah. Are the Philippines? Part of America, yep. Uh, but I'm just going down through the focus tree because this is all being changed. This is this is a new focus tree. If you have the DLC, is being more fleshed out. Um, this is a this is the base game focus tree. Um, so yeah, I might go and get the DLCs. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. But anyway, strike the southern resource area. Area. 
so like the Dutch East Indies, British Malaya, and French, France, France, like uh, Vietnam. For uh, the rubber and uh, for the tungsten and chromium. So yeah, so yeah, we're gonna be fighting the Chinese as normal. Uh, we're gonna be doing somewhat historical, uh, but we are also gonna be doing one event early on. We're gonna be testing the. We're going to test the Soviets. Uh, what I mean by this is doing this particular focus of this decision. Decisions and focuses are, are very different. Um, for a, for example, there are some events now uh, that will become decisions. It's the same with um, Germany. Their focus tree is also been altered. The, the base game, it looks a bit more fledged out. It looks better. Um, but with Germany, a lot of these have now become decisions. Um, so yeah. And you can form like the, the, the right control of, uh, of Norway, the Netherlands, uh, Belgium and also Luxembourg and you can also get Usland and also the Ukraine. Usland is um, the area around here. That's like it, this is Usland means like Island in English. Ust is East, Sud means South <laughs> and Nord means North. <laughs> So, but one thing I do like, we got this place, we got this place, it's historically accurate, game over guys. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and let's continue on. Uh, I'm just going, so we're going to do the, the normal stuff, grabbing heavy machine guns, uh, grabbing uh, like research, because we're going to need it. And we're also going to grab these as normal, but this game has changed the research in this area. So you don't research just both oil and rubber, you can research both, um, but some countries have more than more than the other. Some, for example, uh, Russia, for example, they have more uh, oil than rubber, so you might want to go go down more of the rubber section, but you can produce rubber and also uh, producing. Uh, you s everyone starts off with three, not everyone, but it's at stage three. It's not at stage one anymore, so you don't have to like make one one rubber plantate like with one like synthetic everything in every single state you, you can now make three so that's that is great um but we're going to go ahead and grab all these guys create the north now, now this game has ultimately has changed so field marshals are no longer are, are able to command uh full on units so field commanders are now restricted to commanding an entire army so like yeah like yeah, now there's army groups and armies so so we're gonna grab uh, this guy for the invasion and we are going to be taking over the Manchuku army as we did in our in the very first episode last time so yep with with the rapid six mod that mod is currently hasn't been updated yet but when it does i might go back to it but pretty much all the stuff that is in that mod is in here uh for for japan uh so yeah 
Now, divisions can now only command 20, 24. You can't upgrade them to unlimited. It's something for people like me who just only use field, field commanders, and that's really it. And having, uh, when like I'm invading a small area, then using head, um, then using generals. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna get rid of some of these guys. More. Now these guys actually have, like this, doesn't matter anymore. Oh, look, they got different ass traits. Huh. Well, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but... All right, so we're gonna make. Okay. We're gonna grab another general. We're gonna grab you. We're gonna assign you to him. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Grab you. We assign to you. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do as what we know, what as I normally do now, um, because it's worked a lot, is to use the Manchukuo army and use and and use the Japanese army to evade here, but keep this front stable, or like try to push down here, but not push too much, just push enough to to break the the Chinese a bit, uh, just a bit. So we're going to be doing that, and also we're going to need to put a lot of resources into there, but we do have to worry about producing tanks, and producing trucks. So yeah, we're going to be doing that, and we're going to need our navy as well. Grab all that navy. Do that. Done. Uh, we're going to stand our forces. We're going to have to like protect this front early on for a bit. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to... Because we're going to test the Japanese, so the Soviets. We're going to quickly grab these guys. Grab my tank units. And put them right here. That's for an event that will fire. Um, so yeah. But everyone else is going to be defending uh, along here. Oops. Uh, make a fullback line just because it'd be easier. Do like that. There we go. Get everyone that's going to be part of the invasion based there. Yes. Based in Nagasaki. Okay. Grab you, grab a different, grab a decent nice general. Uh, hmm. Oh wait, no, this is, would just be like this, okay. Your attack is 15, Every, most of these generals are 15. 
but planning is a bit crummy. Mm. I'm gonna go with him. Okay, let's put it on to speed four. There we go. When it comes to invading um, Vietnam, it's going to be quite interesting. We're going to grab Siam, or we can. We're going to make and be become friends with Siam. So, yeah. I like how this has now been been changed to that. Wait, are these bonuses against me? Try to attack against country fifty. China's defense. Is this against me or Japanese? Is a is important resources, but our neighbors are not. So are not. Well, we must take. From them, what we lack. Um. Hmm. Is this got? Is this? Is this against me? I think it is. We will find out. Testing the Soviets is actually a really good idea, and if you want to, you can actually escalate the um the thing even further during a couple out war with the Soviets, if you wanted to. But it always always happens here because it happens in a uh, Japanese territory. So yeah, so so this is the only area where it connects. I wish it was like right here. I wish like all the Manchuku, like I wish there was a event where the Japanese get to control the Soviet border, but you don't. Oh well. But there are other things like uh, anti-democrat raids. We really don't need to do those. <laughs> um, it's good for countries that, for say like Germany, for example, uh, we're getting rid of both uh, communism and the democracy, and the same with the Soviet Union. Just getting rid of the dem getting rid of the democracy as well. Um, it's good. F it's also good for like uh, France later on, and also other countries that. You don't want those particular things, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And you can upgrade your uh, generals, by the way, and they don't lose their uh, bonuses as well. So that's kind of cool. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't. We can now almost do that event, <laughs> all this operation. Okay, we must first have to do this, so that's fine. Promote peace. We're not going to be doing that because we're Japan. We're we are bloodthirsty. Uh, currently, we want resources, and that's fair enough. <laughs> so yeah. So we're going to storm. Uh, uh, this place pretty quick, quick, pretty quickly. We're going to use all three areas to invade. Like, I have used this place as a good invasion point just just to get there, but it's also pretty annoying as well. I've also used uh, this place as well. I do use this place a lot uh, to get troops to here and rush down faster.
can we purge them? Hmm. Might do that one next, but let's do this. Okay, we can now test the ch test the Soviets. So we're going to be doing this because we have just done this. So we are going to be testing them and activate a particular event. Um, so like a window of opportunity. So yeah. They just went red because we just did some. I forget what we just did. I think we we're able to now go to like this. We a war conflict right here. So yeah. How's our weapons, by the way? Actually, not that bad. I'm pretty sure we are also trading with the United States. Yeah. Make sure you click this one. And also now events will pop up here. You can now click on and say like, you don't want events, you, you only want news, or you can get get, get, get written news and events. So doing it like this, it's good for like time lapse and stuff like that. For people who do that type of stuff. Yeah, we, we have to wait here and just see. Oops. We share a long border with the Soviets in Korea and Manchukuo. A large number of the platform. Hmm. We're gonna be doing this radios. We can escalate into a fallout war with the uh, I like how they can have, we well, you know they're bringing six divisions in. Yeah, That's great. That's great. Like, if I lose that cavalry, oh my god. We lose. Like, they only have like 10. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Make our attack a bit better. But now there are new different leaders for different nations, by the way. And also events, and also like things for, for certain thing, people.
um, end the conflict. The Soviet Union is is allowed to declare war if they want. Hmm. But it looks like we're going to win this. They got no generals in command. Yeah. That sound of that noise is like uh units being departed or being forced out, okay, yeah. They're going back in, but they ain't straight pushed straight back out. Victory! We have won against against them. Uh, completed. Yay! I did it! The Soviets have so so Soviets have messed with the wrong country. Uh Japan. <laughs> okay, we're gonna send these two tank divisions back to this group there. And also one armored car unit. Uh these guys are gonna go back to here. With these guys are going to be useful the naval invasion to take Shanghai. Apparently, I can't wait. What? <laughs> Do I not have Landcrafts researched? I do. Hmm? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> 